You sure? I'm sure. Lord, in your mercy, grant us water so that we may drink. Lord, in your mercy. Weren't you just telling me to shut up and listen? It's different. When you pray, God opens your senses. <laughs> God's such a joke. Don't you know he's just a brainwashing tool designed to enslave the masses? Even if you were just a brainwashing tool, do you ever think maybe your brain could use a good scrub? Fuck off. Lord, in your mercy, grant us. <laughs> Show me! Shit, I swear I didn't mean to. It's all right. Hey, yeah. Go ahead and go on back. I will too, but you should get a head start. I'd really rather walk along. I don't understand why you run so hot all the time. Martha said it's not just about me. You've always been this way. That first day, why haven't you told anyone about how I smacked you with the branch? Because it was an accident. We both know that it wasn't. So what are you waiting for? I'm waiting to get off this island so that I never have to think about you ever again. I bet you think about all the different ways that you could get back at me. If you had the guts. You got a lot of people here thinking you're all rainbows and unicorn shit. But I see you. You got? I have the strength for lots more, but I'm not gonna waste it on you. You're not worth it. You know who clings to religion? People like to tell themselves a nice story about who they are, because deep down they're hiding some pretty fucked up shit. Damn, Tony, you're plowing right through. She trying to stay on brand, you know? Gotten. <laughs> Would you stop? Okay. I guess I just. I don't see the humor in that sort of thing. Hey, what do you mean that sort of thing? You know. Pornographic gestures. I'm a Christian, all right? From a very Christian home, so I'm allowed to be a little skeeved out. I got the cross out of your ass. <laughs> it's fun to be filthy. I mean, that's not all that's going on here. Don't bullshit me, Shelby, because the vibe that's coming off you right now, I felt it a few too many times not to know what it is. What are you saying, Tony? I'm saying that she can't stand that I'm gay, Marty. That's what fucking skeeves her out. It, that's not true. Look, I'll be as honest as possible because y'all deserve that. I do believe that way of life is a sin. I can't fucking believe it. I'm sorry, but everything that I've ever known has taught me that. Hey, look, there is no hate in my heart. I just feel sorry. Fuck you! The other half of it is like, it's fucking gone. Oh, Lord. She's in bad shape. This will help. But there's only one. Come on, Daddy. It's obvious who needs it most. Martha, you good? Yeah, I'll take a pep talk. I'll be good. Okay, Tony. I'm going to need you to take this. All right? Oh, wait. Should Shelby really be in the front lines of this, considering the shit that just I got this. Uh, all right? If I put this in your hand, can you take it? I'm not gonna take shit from you. It'll save your life, Tony. You're taking the damn pill. Fuck it, Shelby. Just give it to me. I'll fucking do it. Shelby, give her the pill. God, give her the fucking pill. You Jesus God. fucking Christ, am I not allowed to help her? <laughs> Swallow the fucking pill. Just getting a jump on the firewood situation. I only came here to get some space. 
I'm not, like, up to anything. Hey, I never took you for a special ops rat. That's Leah's shit. Right. You just think I'm an asshole. You say your prayers with that mouth? Do you ever play pranks? Those fangs of yours, you know, take them out, put them on top of your brother's lasagna when he's not looking? No. You should think about it. It could be a dope signature move. You know, my, my issues with, or whatever, like with who you are, I don't hate you, Tony. You get that, right? Yeah, you actually do, though. I saw your face, and shit got a little too gay for you. You fucking shuddered. I'm sorry, that's hate. The least you could do is own it. Let me help. It's genetic. By the way, the, when my baby teeth fell out, the, the other ones just never came in, in case you were wondering. I wasn't. Yeah, I'm not fishing for sympathy. But it hasn't not been hard. OK, Becky, maybe don't talk to me about hard. Nobody believes me when I say this, but I do have actual problems, like way more than you can imagine. All right, great. Let's hear them. Do you have any idea what it's like to have to be pitch perfect every second? To be watched like a hawk for the slightest bit of weight gain, or the tiniest wobble in my heel, or, or if my hem is just a centimeter off regulation, or I say the wrong thing about international politics? Well, then God help me. So you're complaining about being judged when you literally signed up for that? I know. I, I know, but, but I'm not just talking about pageant stuff. It feels like everywhere I go, somebody's asking me to like, to meet some kind of expectation. It's a lot is all, the pressure. Yeah, well, my dad's been a no-show since day one and my mom's in and out of rehab like it's a fucking white castle. So nobody expects shit from me. It doesn't feel great either. You know how many field trips I've had to bail on because no one's been there to sign my permission slip? You know, I don't give a fuck about going to the planetarium, you know? It just would have been nice to have someone there to say that I could. Yeah. But like, but you know, what? Shelby, you know, if you're trying to outsad me, it's a losing fucking battle. But you're free, don't you see that? You don't have to answer to anybody. And neither do you. Not right now, anyway. I mean, you're on a deserted island, a million miles away from whatever bullshit expectations that you left behind. You know, you're free here, Shelby, and if you're not taking advantage of that, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. You think Martha's gonna be okay? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. This place like makes you face your demons or something and it turns out your demons are really fucking ugly. Yeah. No, I didn't mean, I didn't mean yours. I just meant like everybody's. I know. No fucking way. Oh my God. Leeches. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> If we end up hurling after this, it'll still be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, ma'am. <laughs> what? What's funny? You, uh, you've just got to... <laughs>
You sure? I'm sure. Slow starter. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that was like some fucking pure Chewbacca yawn. <laughs> hey, you doing okay? Real good. It's okay if you're not, you know. <laughs> if you're a little iffy, I get it. Oh God, stop! Oh my God, stop! 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 Okay, you just got into the tornado drill position. I'm just gonna <laughs> go out on a limb here and say that you're not fully okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm just not ready to, to talk about it just yet. And not because I didn't, because I did like it. Shelby, it's cool. So I was thinking we should probably get our story straight about where we were last night. Not that I'm ashamed, because I'm N-O-T not. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, I'll go sign. Hey. Hey. Huh. I used to love those things. I used to always ask you if I was gonna marry Tony Romo. <laughs> This is a true testament to the depths of my boredom. Do you have any burning questions for the Oracle? Do I have to say the question out loud? Ideally, but if you want to be a mysterious bitch about it, then fine. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Well, that wasn't fun. The whole point of these things is they're supposed to give you the answer, right? You know, if you're so worried about how she's feeling, maybe you should go ask her yourself. Wait, I know sexual tension when I see it. But don't worry. Hey. Hey. So does this not matter to you? What? You're this fiery, passionate person. And then last night happens and you're just so damn calm. I guess I, guess I just got to thinking that maybe that's because it didn't matter to you. Nah, Shelby. It's because I trust you. How did I do to earn that? You saved my life. Yeah, but what if it all blows up? What if, what if, what if we end up making each other freaking miserable? You know, what if I hurt you? I've hurt people before. Very badly. What if our plane crashes? And what if we nose dive into the ocean and you know end up stranded? And what if we? wind up lost and starving. All of that already happened. The worst has already fucking happened. I don't think I've got it in me to get that scared about something that could be good. 